Analysts say that the Tesla Cybertruck is likely to boost Tesla loyalty, which is a bit of a concern because once people buy a Tesla, they rarely buy anything else. Only 10% of Tesla owners have purchased something other than a Tesla, which is incredible brand loyalty. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. Great to see you. Thank you for tuning in. I'm Sam Evans and you're watching The Electric Viking. Now, I want to say a big thank you to our Patreon supporters and YouTube members. Really, this channel wouldn't be here without your support. Only 10% of Tesla owners leave the brand, not necessarily leave it, but buy an alternative EV. Top choices include Rivian. Rivian is, you know, they make a, a pickup truck. So basically a lot of Tesla owners were getting sick of waiting for the Cybertruck and they bought a Rivian. They may come back though once the Cybertruck is available for purchase. Also, Mercedes and BMW. So the biggest three brand poachers of Tesla are Rivian, Mercedes, and BMW. A bit of a surprise to me because apparently, according to all the internet experts, a Tesla isn't luxury. They're not luxurious at all, apparently. Anyway, the coming Cybertruck offers another reason to stay with Tesla, say analysts, and prevent current Tesla owners from buying Rivian or buying something else. Owners of Tesla vehicles are the most brand loyal in the industry, says Auto News, based on actual real data, which is fascinating. But they face limited choices with the automaker's current four vehicle lineup of two sedans and two crossovers. And the truth is that's not even true because most countries you can only buy the Model 3 and the Model Y. And the Model 3 is old. We're just starting to get deliveries over the next few months of the new version of the Model 3. But the truth is the Model 3 has been out for since 2017. It's six years old. So really, there's only been really, I'd say, one compelling choice here for the last 12 months for Tesla, which is the Model Y worldwide. Bringing out the Cybertruck, bringing in the Tesla Model 2, it's going to help maybe reduce that 10% figure, that 10% that, that buy other vehicles. It'll give them the opportunity to stay. And analysts are saying there, you should be concerned if you're another automaker because more and more Tesla buyers will be even more loyal. That's what they're saying. I don't know if this is true. I'd be interested to know what you think about this. The Cybertruck pickup will launch in the coming weeks and could provide needed variety according to S&P Global Mobility, which tracks Tesla loyalty data. Cybertruck is vital to keeping Tesla fans within the brand, along with other products to expand the portfolio, said Ken Chu, Associate Director of Consulting Services at S&P Global. The Cybertruck, a second gen roadster, don't know if that'll ever come out, but who knows, maybe, and a vehicle position below the Model 3 being the Model 2 have all been promised and should migrate existing owners up or perhaps sideways within the brand, Chu said in a September 13 blog post, now Tesla needs to get them to market. He's basically saying there's 2.1 million people waiting for the Cybertruck, Tesla get a move on um, and this will be good for the brand. So the Model 3, starting at $41,900 US dollars in the United States with shipping is Tesla's most inexpensive model. Model 2, if there was a version of that for say twenty-five dollars to 27000 US dollars, would probably enable a lot of buyers to stay within the brand because a lot of people want a second car and they don't necessarily want something expensive. They want something smaller, more affordable. That's what the Model 2 will do. Plus, a lot of people want a pickup truck as a second car or maybe it's a primary car. That's what the Cybertruck does. High numbers. Tesla overall loyalty rate is 68%, meaning 32% of owners buy an alternative vehicle at some point, S&P Global said. But when Tesla owners specifically purchase a new EV, not a gasoline or hybrid model, the loyalty rate is actually just above 90%, a big number as the industry is shifting to EV. So as more and more people buy EVs, Analysts are a kind of warning automakers that Tesla's loyalty numbers will actually rise. Tesla will have or has 60% of the EV market in the United States after the third quarter this year. And analysts said this wouldn't happen. Um, there's been recent reports on these numbers saying, uh, hang on a minute, all the media said that um, Tesla would lose massive amounts of market share and they seem to be maintaining market share even as EV sales continue to increase. There's many parts of North America, the United States now, where EV penetration has actually gone above 30%. The automaker CEO Elon Musk has succeeded in creating this image of a brand that's seen as very, very leading edge 
and very much ahead of everybody else, said Tom Libby, Associate Director of Industry Analysis at S&P Global Mobility. And that's helping the brand tremendously. And that's going to be very hard for another brand to create. In some ways, I see a real parallel between Tesla and Apple. What do you think on that one? Let me know. S&P Global's loyalty numbers are based on 12-month data that ended in the month of June. In another study of brand loyalty, JD Power, that considers only automakers with franchise dealers, which excludes Tesla, said Porsche ranks highest among premium brands with a 57% loyalty, followed by Mercedes-Benz at 51%. What that means is Tesla's brand loyalty is easily the highest in the industry. Now, if it comes to EVs, well and truly the highest in the industry, but if it comes to just cars in general, it's the highest in the industry, even higher than Porsche, clearly significantly higher than Mercedes-Benz. So while the Cybertruck is obviously a very unusual vehicle, some people hate it, some people love it. Personally, I love it. it has very strange, uh, very kind of futuristic styling, or some people would say more like a DeLorean, and a stainless steel exterior, which sets it apart from everyone else. Current Tesla owners have set on forums they're eagerly awaiting it to upgrade from a Model 3 sedan or a Tesla Model Y crossover and from Model S's and Model X's. So a big percentage of those 2.1 million existing Cybertruck orders are from existing Tesla vehicle owners. An unofficial online tally of Cybertruck reservations estimates the total number at 2.1 million. Tesla has only produced 5 million vehicles globally but it plans on making 340,000 Cybertrucks per year once it's ramped production up to its optimal numbers. Musk said in May that Cybertruck sales could be between 250,000 and half a million per year, depending on demand. When the pickup was first shown in 2019, Tesla said the starting price would be $40,000, but that's changed and it will be a bit more expensive than that. We'll find out really soon. In a survey of Model 3 owners published by Bloomberg in July, about half of those planning to buy a new vehicle in the next two years said they were considering a Cybertruck. So half of existing Tesla Model 3 owners are considering buying a Cybertruck. That seems like a really unusually high number. What does that mean? It's possible people who have never owned a pickup truck before ever are wanting to maybe buy a Cybertruck. That's what it sounds like to me. Bloomberg said more than 7,000 verified Model 3 owners completed the survey, which is a pretty big number for a survey. According to S&P Global's loyalty data, 40% of Model 3 owners buying a new car chose a Model Y and 26% chose another Model 3, meaning 66% of Tesla owners of the Model 3 and Model Y bought another Tesla vehicle. The compact sedan received a freshen up in Europe and China last month, and apparently there's a lot of pre-orders for it. Of course, orders have not yet opened in the United States. They're more, most likely to open within the next couple of months for deliveries in either January or February next year. Tesla is very successful at migrating customers from a Model 3 to a Model Y, which contributes to higher loyalty rates, said Chu. Tesla has taken advantage of the industry's shift towards crossovers and small SUVs or medium-sized SUVs by putting the Model 3 to market first, followed by the Model Y shortly after. It gave customers a path to migrate through the portfolio. So what is the price of the Cybertruck? Well, interestingly, analyst Kelly Blue Book said they believe the cheapest Cybertruck will cost $50,000. Now we know that there will be a dual motor or tri-motor version, which will cost $75,000 US dollars based on people who have actually been able to buy one, influencers and I think Tesla staff as well. So around $74,000 US dollars is the approximate price for the, it's either dual motor or tri-motor, no one's able to be able to confirm this yet. So what will be the $50,000 model? Will it even exist? I don't know. I think it'll be more expensive than that. I think it might be around $60,000, but after it, quali it will qualify for the EV incentive because the batteries are made in the United States meaning it will come down to around $52,500. Is that a good price? I think it is. But unfortunately, we don't know what the specifications are at this point in time. So I can't make a definitive statement on that. But we'll find out, hopefully, within the next two weeks on just exactly what you're getting when you buy a Cybertruck. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Thank you for watching.